China keeps pushing the limits with its nationalist policies, with the reliance on its own energy supplies being one example. Along with this goal, it also wants to reduce its carbon footprint by utilizing greener energy sources. And by constructing a massive wind farm, it seems to be delivering on that promise. For investors looking for opportunities to satisfy environmental, social, and governance criteria, wind energy has been a recurrent green topic. This might give investors more incentive to think about China as a potential investment location. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. We'll take a look at some fascinating news about China's biggest wind farm, which has astonished the entire world in today's video, as well as what it means for the entire world. One of the renewable energy sources with the greatest rate of growth is wind energy. A total of 93 gigawatts of new capacity were added globally in 2020 alone, a 53% increase year over year according to the 16th Annual Global Wind Energy Council study. Additionally, the size of the global wind energy markets has roughly doubled over the previous 10 years. The capacity of wind energy in the globe has increased to 743 gigawatts as a result of this growth. Currently, China is developing the largest wind farm in the world, a structure big enough to supply electricity to the entire nation of Norway. A 43.3 gigaton facility in the Taiwan Strait has been announced by the Chinese city of Shaozhou, which is located in the Guangdong province. The 10-kilometer-long farm, which will have thousands of strong turbines, will be situated 75 to 185 kilometers offshore. To put things into perspective, 1 gigawatt is equal to 1 billion watts, and 3 million solar panels are required to produce this amount of electricity. A gigaton can power 300,000 typical European homes or 100 million LEDs. Due to their windy position, these turbines will be able to operate between 43% and 49% of the time. Last year, China added a record 16.9 gigawatts of offshore wind capacity, giving it the highest fleet of offshore wind turbines in the world. As costs for renewable energy decrease in comparison to pricey coal and natural gas, utilities and local governments are continuing to pursue ambitious expansion plans. The wind will be strong enough to run the turbines for 3,800 to 4,300 hours per year, or 43% to 49% of the time an incredibly high utilization rate due to the area's unusual topography. A city in the province of Fujian earlier this year proposed a $138 billion project that includes 50 gigatons of offshore wind. China sees hydrogen as a crucial frontier technology where it wants to lead the globe. China intends to rapidly develop its green hydrogen industry during the following 10 years. Government mandates to reduce carbon emissions, along with the attraction of increasing demand for carbon-neutral hydrogen and associated equipment, are propelling related research, development, and commercial activities. The national strategy and its conservative goals are already being exceeded by local policy and industry initiatives, giving the green hydrogen economy momentum. Strong state-led support for market formation and technology development at every stage of the value chain will set China's drive toward green hydrogen apart. In preparation for a significant industry ramp-up, state-owned businesses and policy-funded research and development labs are vying to develop hydrogen technology. As China increases its research capacity and cost competitiveness, Europe's lead in green hydrogen technology will erode. As production ramps up, the nation which currently supplies one-third of the world's electrolyzer manufacturing capacity will gain in competitiveness. Chinese industry analysts estimate that it will take at least five years for domestic technology to catch up to leaders in the global market. The development of renewable energy in China is making the news. With a record of 54.9 gigawatts added only last year, its solar power capacity, for instance, is predicted to reach 306 gigawatts by the end of 2021. In the coming years, China wants to enhance the capacity of its offshore wind farms. In China, the combined capacity of solar and wind energy today stands at 635 gigawatts, or 26.7% of the country's total capacity. By 2030, it's expected that its capacity will increase to 1,200 gigawatts. According to the International Energy Agency, China would achieve this goal four years sooner if current rates continue. China's wind power capacity has surpassed expectations, with offshore wind turbines supplying a sizable share of the country's electricity. How much is wind power currently available globally? How much wind power capacity is there in the world? By the end of 2021, 
The total onshore and offshore wind power capacity in the world surpassed 830 gigawatts. More than half of this is the fault of China. By 2021, it will have deployed more offshore wind generating capacity than any other nation over the previous five years. The multinational powerhouse aims to produce one-third of its electricity from renewable sources by 2025. In contrast to many other nations, it plans to reach net zero emissions by 2060, which is a lengthy period. However, China's advancement in renewable energy in 2021 won't be a one-time thing. It expanded its solar and wind power output to 120 gigawatts in 2020. China has the most installed renewable energy capacity worldwide, including both new and existing capacity. China is making incredible efforts to achieve net-zero carbon dioxide emissions when compared to other nations. For instance, China will build as much solar capacity in 2021 in a single year as Germany did in the entire history. China alone will add more onshore wind energy in 2021 than the United Kingdom, Spain, and France put together. Furthermore, the UK's capacity of 10 gigawatts was eclipsed by the new offshore wind capacity of 16.9 gigawatts. However, in terms of full potential, no nation can match China's domination. What allows China to advance in renewable energy? Two important factors, policy and manufacturing, as well as capacity support, are responsible for China's extraordinary growth in renewable energy. Examining the policy support in China, there has been extensive government backing for renewable energy. One of the first progressive efforts that enhanced offshore wind power was the significant rates awarded to wind power in 2014. It costs 0.85 yuan per kilowatt hour, about twice as much as coal-fired power. This is a major effect on the expansion of the wind energy industry. China recently changed its offshore wind power tariffs from a fixed price to a guiding price. A maximum of 0.75 yuan would be the market-based guiding price per kilowatt hour. In other words, once the subsidies from the federal government stopped, a rush to create wind energy occurred before the new policy became effective at the end of 2021. Notably, China's yearly five-year plan has pushed for combining challenging objectives with monitoring and achievement timetables. This has helped the nation surpass its renewable energy goals during the past 10 years. Over 80 laws are currently in force in China, with the goal of streamlining different facets of the energy sector. They deal with and support issues like expansion of clean energy capacity, environmentally friendly urban planning, technological advancement, clean transportation, and air pollution. China also established the Green Development Fund and provided recommendations to streamline the administration of electricity purchases. Projects for pollution abatement, ecological restoration, and environmental preservation will all benefit directly from this investment. Additionally, the fund will aid in the growth of green industries, green technology R&D, and a transition to a carbon-free economy. The manufacturing and capacity support comes next. China's significant contribution to the success of renewable energy is also a result of its significant role in manufacturing. The business capacity for mass production, from solar panels to electric vehicles, has been essential to its success. Nine of the top 13 solar module manufacturers in the world are now owned by China. Seven of the top 10 wind turbine producers are represented there. China already had the largest EV market in the world, so it has nothing to be ashamed of. In the next few years, it's expected that this EV dominance will grow and surpass that of Germany, the United States, Japan, France, and South Korea altogether. Consumers and institutional investors worldwide are increasingly focused on China. It's now tied for second place in the energy sector, according to the default investment potential ranking model used by Global Climate Scope. This is made easier by the fact that China is home to some of the best green businesses with promising futures. Last but not least, the latest wind power data is likely to strengthen China's position as a top source of clean funding. What do you think of China's wind power? Do you think that China will be able to hit its goal of net zero emissions by 2060? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get more insights about China. Thanks for watching.